Okay, so we go side to side. Lovely, last two. Now go back to that plie and just start to swoop the arms. Nice and tall, nice and long, feeling grateful for the blood that flows through your amazing body, for the gift of your life. Two more, last one. Now you're gonna rotate and we're gonna reach the arm across and you're just gonna go into that lovely twist so that you move the full plane of the body. Picking up the heels, please, so you've got that great rotation, side to side, fabulous. And now we're gonna stay on the left shoulder and we're gonna do a big circle through the hip and through the arm. We're bending the elbow. It's just gonna be a bit kinder on the shoulder as we're just working on range of motion right now. Last two. And the other side, please. Big circle. All the way around. Good. Lovely. Keep coming. Four more. And three. And two. Now you're gonna give me a deadlift. So you're gonna turn your toes forward. You're gonna hinge from the hip. Now you're sliding your buttocks up an imaginary wall. You're saying good morning to your lovely hamstrings. We're gonna add a little bit of reach at the top. So as we come up, just lean back and star, fall down. Now as you move into that little bit of extension, grip the buttocks so you support that lower back. Grip the buttocks. Last two. Last one. And then I'm going to step across, lateral line, just going across side to side, but I'm making it a little bit wider. So get through those lateral hips, lovely jubbly. Here's four more, and three, and two. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it on a diagonal. So I'm kind of stepping forward and back, just figuring out how much space we've got all around us for our class today. Now I'm gonna hold my right leg forward, I'm gonna lift the back leg, I'm gonna reach the arms, and I'm gonna lengthen. I'm trying to open the hip, lengthen the spine, go at your speed, not mine. Two more. Then I'm still gonna hold the right leg there and I'm gonna lunge. I'm gonna drop down and I'm gonna reach up. As I drop down through the back knee, trying to keep my head over my knee so that I'm not leaning forward. Two more. Last one. And release. Now I'm going to step this side, side to side, leading off on the left foot. Fabulous. Then I'm going to change the angle and I'm going to step forward on that diagonal left foot, changing the movement planes. Really important in part of the warm up that we move in multiple directions. Four more, two more. And I'm going to hold that leg forward and I'm going to start to work on my extension. Opening the hip, the shoulders, the spine. Work at your speed. Remember, it's always quality over quantity. And four. Three, two, now you're gonna hold that leg forward and you're gonna drop into that lovely lunge. Straight down and up. This morning for you, I have a Tabata interval. Then we'll go into four muscle exercises. Then we'll go back to a Tabata, muscle, Tabata, muscle. It's all about the fours as a Tabata drill is four minutes. Two more, last one, and release. Now find a squat, let's see how a squat feels today. Work with your squat pattern so that your toes are slightly turned out and that your feet, it should be wider than your hip. You don't wanna feel compromised. Your squat is the human, natural movement, the most functional pattern we have. So it's got to feel good. Two more. Last one, now stay here. How low are you in your squat? 
You're only gonna go lower if your feet are a little bit wider and your toes are out. Can you touch the floor? Maybe you're gonna to touch the coffee table or pretend coffee table, but let me see where you are. Either floor or coffee table and your eyes and your chest are still forward. This is just a test because we have an exercise coming up that needs this. Last one, now stand up. Fantastic, and rotate side to side. Good. Almost through the warm up, all the essential patterns. Last one. Just a little bit of balance, and that will complete our warm up. I'm just going to stand on the right leg. I'm going to move the left leg, waking up that beautiful connection from our brain to our feet. Good. Keep coming. In four and three, two on the other side, stand on here. I did a virtual uh, seminar lecture on Friday with one of my favorite professors from New Mexico. He's like a mad scientist. And it was so nice being in my living room, having a nice cup of tea with my pen and paper and listening to this wonderful guy talk everything about physiology, fat loss, and the health of the brain. It's a fantastic session. Last two, last one, and release. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick quadricep hip stretch. Always wanna try and get a little bit of release here. Change over. Am I gonna get sweaty? Because this is sweat 45. Okay, we're gonna start with a Tabata interval. So, I'm gonna get my timer. So in our Tabata, our movement pattern, Tabata is just the name of the Japanese scientist that created it. You work for 20 seconds, you're supposed to go all out, and then you rest for 10 seconds, and you do it eight times to make a four minute Tabata drill. That's the traditional Tabata. So let me find this lovely timer here. And our first movement pattern will be a squat jump. So no dumbbells, it's a cardio drill. Feet are on the outside of the hips, just let me show you. You're just gonna squat jump. Okay, if you don't like it, you'll do a big squat instead. 20 seconds of effort in three, two, one, go. 20 seconds effort. Here we are, landing in the heels, eyes and chest forward. This could be you if you're not in the mood for jumping today. Always an option. Four seconds and rest. Easy peasy. You just gotta do that seven more times. Are you ready? Here we go. Squat jump. The premise is it's nothing too fancy. It just allows you to focus on the cardio aspect, getting breathless very quick, powering off, landing in the heels, rest. That's it. Six more to go. Ready? Outside of your hips. Let's go. Down and up. Really important team that you're not landing on your toes. Can you sit back, cushion the impact with your bottom? Yes. Even if it's a small jump, you still got to sit back. Time. Nice. Number four. Coming up. These are progressive. So you're gonna get it's gonna get harder as you get through your eight. Go. Drive. Focus. Concentrate. Meditate. Big cardio. Explosive. Your class. Time. Nice. You're waking up those legs. You're waking up that heart rate. Ready? Let's go. This is five. Push. 
Land in your heel. Sit back in your bum. Nice. Hope you've got some wicked music playing. Keep pushing. Almost. Time. 10 second recovery. Ready? Let's go. Push. Come on, these are the ones. These count. This is it, my friends. This is number six. This is where work kicks in. Almost. Time. Two more. Hope you're breathless. <laughs> Ready? Go. Push. Drive. Remember, you can be here. You can make it bigger like this. If you're not jumping, just get breathless. Yes. Time. One more. One more, one more, one more. Go. Push. This is number eight. We're finished. Go bigger, lift up, power up. Go, go. Ow! Push. Time. Nicely done. Quick hydration. Talked a lot about water and the ability to burn fat is only in the presence of water. Okay, now it's muscle. Pick up your dumbbells. Here we go. Muscle one, functional squat pattern. Feet wider than shoulders, sit back. Pop your dumbbells on the floor. Stand up without them. Sit back, pick them up. Shoulder press, down, leave. Pick up and press, down, without. Come on with me, we're going. These are one minute now, one minute muscle intervals. So not as explosive as the Tabata. You're still actually recovering which is great. This is an active recovery. The one thing I must stress is that when you pick up from the floor, you're not allowed to use your lower back. Sit through the hip. Good, last one. And time. Next minute, holding the dumbbells. You're going curtsy right. Curtsy left. And I'm doing a cross bicep. Come with me if you're not already. Cross bicep, curtsy lunge. You get going and then I'll talk about the safety. Now, the lower your back knee goes to the floor, the more muscle activation. Try team, keep the body upright. Don't bend forward over that front leg. Eyes up, head up, good, nice. Work on your range of motion, excellent. If you're not feeling it, if it's bothering your knees, a little smaller. You need to work harder, deeper. Last one, and time. Number three, two gliders, paper plates, or if you don't have the gliders, then nothing. No problem. Mountain climber, stable plank is where you start. Press into your hands and your fingers, and then just begin to glide the legs. Now, 
With the gliders, it allows you to keep a really good plank. It feels really nice with the gliders. If you're not working with the gliders, then you can do your knee and toe tap. It doesn't have to be a super fast mountain climber. We want this for a steady plank. Good, keep coming. You've got 12 seconds left. Back straight, with or without the gliders. And the gliders are in the home workout kit at the fitness center if you don't have them. And time. Stay on the floor, grab a dumbbell, and we're gonna do a dumbbell sit-up. So hold the dumbbell on its end, roll down, tuck the chin, Pilates roll up, press up above your head, pull down, dumbbell comes into the chest. Curl the chin, Pilates roll up, extension at the top. Now the control of this movement is about tucking the chin, rolling up through the spine and then working on the extension at the top. If you have a shoulder issue, then no extension at the top. You just do the roll up without the extension. Good. Tuck that chin under, nice reach at the top. And you can go quicker, slower. You make it your workout. Last one, team. And release. We do all of those exercises again, the four muscle exercises again. We only do them twice through, though. So this is your last time with them. Come to standing. Wider than shoulders. Functional squat pickup. So nice wide leg. Put the dumbbells down, stand up with that. Go down, pick up the dumbbells, push into your heels, full body press. Now, the more proficient you are, the quicker you'll be able to make your set. There should be absolutely no discomfort on the lower back. If there is, that tells me that you're not firing through the glute chain. And that might mean that you are standing up like this, instead of pushing into the heels and standing up through the glute line. So please be mindful. In functional training, we always bring the mind into the movement. We're trying to retrain the body. Good. Last one. And release, hold those dumbbells, curtsy now, right side to left, chest up, right arm, right leg comes across the body, and then we switch. In the curtsy, we're trying to keep the hips and the shoulders facing forward at all times. And of course, you can go quicker, you can go slower, you can go smaller, you can go bigger. It's your workout team, make it yours. What did you come for today? What are you here for? What do you need? Let's make that body work. It shouldn't be a pretend exercise, it should be a struggle. You won't be doing this again. There's only two rounds on the muscle exercises. Good, eight seconds. Nice, strong, and time. Mountain climber with the gliders or without. Build the foundation, hands only shoulder width, fingers flat, toes on the glider, Find a plank, shoulders flat, abdomen in, arms straight. When you feel like you have a quality plank, then you could pump those legs. If you're not gliding, there's no problemo. You still have the same foundation, 
but you will tap. But team, make this about the quality of your plank. Is your bottom level with your shoulder blades? I hope so. Are your shoulders away from your ears? Are your arms straight? That's so important. Go to look after your posture. Good, five seconds team. Time. Dumbbell, sit up. Find a position, dumbbell at your chest, tuck the chin, roll up, extend. And again, the more proficient you are, the quicker you might make this exercise. Now, if you're working with a back issue and this just does not feel right, then please don't do it. Something doesn't feel right, it's because it isn't. You must always honor the body. You could just do a regular curl or you could do a bicycle curl. There's always an option. I want you to work hard, but it's so, so important that you're also safe and that you're choosing an exercise. That's a challenge without the risk of injury because you need to be able to come back tomorrow and drive. Last one. And release. Great. Grab yourself a drink. Do you know what's coming next? It's another Tabata. Eight times. This time we're going to use a scissor drill. So we're going to use a scissor drill. Are you ready? The Tabata's coming up. We're going to go like this. Just scissor. Scissor, scissor, 20 seconds of scissor. Now, if you don't like the hopping, the jumping, the bouncing, then you will do a tap instead. Keep coming, keep pushing. It's quick, isn't it? All my transitions are quick. And time. Because number one, seven more. Scissor or tap. Ready? Here we go, scissor. Now, if you're doing that scissor, You've got your knees bent. Use it as a meditation. Doesn't it feel good to move the body? Ha, ha, ha. Hook, hook, hook. Keep going. I'm nice. <sighs> so good to be alive. Ready? Let's go. Ha. Scissor. Now this is just gonna teach you to be light on your feet. We get really heavy as we age. So a little bit of lightness gives us a bit of a boost. Time. Maybe you only do two or three and then you go to tap. Doesn't matter. Ready? Go. Remember this can be powerful. Make sure if you're doing that, that your arms are really big, really big. Ha. A little bit of bone density with this bounce is good for us. Time. Maybe you alternate one bounce, one not bounce. All good. It's your class. Ready? Go. Ha. Number five. Five alive. I remember as a child, my mum used to go to bingo and I used to go sometimes. And I remember all the bingo callers. Time, they always had something funny to say with every, every number. Five alive. This is number six. Ready? Let's go. Boom. 66, clickety click, single sick with a click. <laughs> now I'm turning into a bingo call, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Keep going, push, drive, oh yes. And time. <sighs> bingo was such a British thing. Oh, back in the 70s. <laughs> Ready? Let's go, number seven. 
Easy peasy. If it is easy, do a different drill. Do something else that gets it more intense. Push. Drive. Oh yeah. Four, three, two, time. Isn't that great? One more. Number eight. Let's go, go, go. Drive away. Push it big. Make it come big, strong. Yes. 12 seconds. Any option. It's good. You look amazing. Keep coming. Time. That concludes your Tabata. <laughs> Drink. Now it's another muscle circuit, another a different set of exercises. Oh. Okay, you ready? Next muscle. Grab your dumbbells. Wide leg plie. Posture. We're going. Plie and a lateral raise. Plie and a lateral raise. Join me and then I'll talk about the safety. I'm trying to keep the class flowing as much as possible. So we make the most of every minute in our 45 minutes together. Back straight. Then in a lateral raise, the thumbs are facing up. Palm of the hands are facing me. Why? It's just proven to allow the humerus to sit nice in the shoulder socket. It's more of an anatomical neutral position. So it's just a bit kinder on the joint. It's not wrong if you do it the other way. One more team. And release, good. Dumbbells go down. Now we have a range of motion lunge. So now, you're gonna stride back, touch the floor. Power up, stride back, touch the floor. Keep going. Now you might be touching the coffee table. Nobody says you have to touch the floor. But here's the rule. If your stride is long enough, you'll be at the floor. If your stride is a little shorter, I don't want you to bend over to touch the floor. Just reach out instead. This is active range of motion. It's a functional based exercise for joint mobility and functional strength. It's all glute. As you stand up from the floor, it's your glute that fires to bring you up. We're trying to retrain the body to stand up with the glutes instead of the lower back. Can you push into your heel? Push into your heel to stand up. Good. And time. Next one is a push up. I'm using the gliders. Show you from the side. I'm going to hinge forward, open the arms, push up, glide it back in. I'm going to glide out. I'm going to glide in. It's beautiful. I'm going to show you from the front. I'm going to go forward, glide out, glide in, glide out, glide in. If I'm not working with gliders, then you're just doing a regular push up, please. Paper plates work if you don't have a pair of gliders. And in your home workout kit, you have two pairs of gliders one for carpet and one for hardwood floor. The smooth ones are for carpet. And again, keep going. One more, one more, please. Next exercise, I'm gonna work with the bender ball from the kit. If you don't have the bender ball, no problemo, I'll give you an option. So, seated position. Tuck the pelvis under, make a C shape here, and put the ball in. 
and lean back into it. Now you've got stability support for the lower back. That's what's so great about the bend the ball. And then from here, you're gonna lower down and come back up. Lower down and come back up. You're gonna be able to go a little bit lower because the ball is supporting your lower back. But you're not gonna come up to seated all the way. You wanna keep the tension on the abdomen. If you're not working with the ball, then you're in your C shape and your movement is just going to be a little bit smaller. Good. So same pattern, either with or without the ball. Nice tuck under of the pelvis. Good. Keep going because I started a few minutes late. So ignore my timer in the background. Just keep going here. We've got eight more seconds. Good. Keep going. Almost. In four, three, two, and time. Super. So that was our first round. With those exercises, we do them all one more time. So we stand up, lateral raise, and a plie. Ready? Okay. Wide leg. Let's go. So sit down and drive it up. Now, if your dumbbell's a little bit lighter, you might be able to flow the movement like this. If your dumbbells are a bit heavier, one plie, one lat raise. One plie, one lat raise. Now, this is an okay exercise if you've got a shoulder issue. There's quite a lot you can't do if you're working with shoulder issues. But this is one you can. Good. We're trying to avoid the anterior delt when you're working with a shoulder issue. And this is lateral delt, so we're all good. Head up, chest up. Go deep in that plie. Work on that active range of motion in your hips and your thighs. Beautiful. Nice. Head up, back straight. Keep coming here, last one, and release. Gliding push-up, down we go already. Oh no, live, rear lunge. Getting carried away myself, ready? Functional rear lunge. So it's a stride. It's kind of wrong for me to say it's lunge because it's so much more than a lunge. It is a stride. You're trying to learn to get to the ground using your bottom and your hips. You're trying to learn to stand up from the ground using your bottom. Good. And drive. So, you know, you might be here. It's better to have great quality of movement than try and go to the floor by just bending over. So lengthen. It's all about your hip mobility and your buttock strength. You gotta push into your heel to stand up. Push into that heel to stand up. And again, the more proficient you are, the quicker your movement will be. Your agility just improves. Keep going. Last one. Now it's gliding push-up. <laughs> With or without the gliders. Regular push-up. If you're not on the gliders. Hands on flat, fingers are flat, you hinge forward, open and glide. Now, team, make sure that wherever you are, when you do your push up, you always want to make sure that your chest is level with your hands. If it's your nose that's level with your hands, then you're getting into your upper traps and shoulders. And we don't want to do that. They're already over tonic. You tend to hold a lot of tension in the upper traps. They're always on. So make sure your hands are coming level with your chest. Let's get it into your chest. Push into the heels of your hands. One more. Good, bend a ball curl now. Take that ball behind you. Tuck that pelvis under. Find that C shape 
and hold that there. Once you've got that position, move back to challenge your abdominal wall. We're not done, team. We have another Tabata to do. So if you're looking at the clock thinking, oh, must be over. Uh, 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 we're finishing with the Tabata. Keep that chin tucked under. If you want more muscle, that's in my Thursday class. Thursday class is strength and core. Tuesday is sweat, 45. Cardio muscle, cardio muscle. Good, tuck the chin under. Nice, curvature in the spine. Nice tuck of that pelvis. Keep coming. Hold that abdominal load. Good, last one and release. Nicely done. Okay, our final Tabata today. We have, I've got glitter, we have crisscross jack. So you're just gonna go crisscross and then into a jack. That will be your final Tabata. If you're not jumping it, you're gonna step it. You ready? I don't know whether you are ready and I don't wanna lose that time. I see you, okay, you ready? Let's go. <laughs> Chris, cross, Jack. Good. You can do as many crisscrosses as you want. I've got two. If you're not jumping, you're here. Time. That was 20 seconds. We go again seven more times. Ready? So crisscross. Good. If you're not jumping it, you're here. Nice, big action though. Big action. Wide leg. Go low. Go low. Time. Beautiful. We are again. Yes, we are. Come on. Finish it. Go. So crisscross. Push. Nice. Please make sure you get your heels on the floor, team. Really important. Time. Beautiful. Number four coming up. That was three. This is four. Ready? Crisscross. Jack. Nice, heels down, <laughs> eyes are forward. Isn't it fabulous? Do you feel good? Time! <sighs> you might need to turn your music up. <sighs> Number five, halfway through. Let's go. Chrissy Crossy and Jack. <sighs> good. Nice, nice and tall. Head is up. And time. Number six. Woo, getting close to the end. Go. Landing the heels to you, make sure your heels are down. You do want to protect yourself. Please don't be in your toe. Heel down. Good. Time. Seven. Two more. Then we're finished. <laughs> you ready? Go. Ha, ha, ha. Boom. This is where you gotta to talk to yourself. I am strong, determined, and confident. Strong, determined, and confident. Time. Last one. You have to make it your best one. Are you ready? Go. How many can you do? Maybe you work harder by doing a few more reps. 
You go for it, go. Yes, I love it. You look amazing. So strong, last one. Time. Oh, we did it. Fabulous. Just give me a tap back. A little bit of heart rate recovery. A little bit of stretch. Amazing work, team. Just amazing. Keep it coming here. Good. Now hold your right leg behind you. Lift the heel up. Tuck the pelvis under. Lean back. And just feel that beautiful solus major. The hip flexor muscle runs from the head of the femur and inserts into all of the lumbar vertebrae. It's a muscle you need to respect and look after. Change over, left leg back. We're nice and warm. Tuck the pelvis under. Stretch should feel great. You're gonna kind of tuck the pelvis under. Your back knee is slightly bent and then you lean your torso away to try and get the origin of the muscle away from its insertion point. So we get that lovely stretch. Oh, the body is, I love the body. It's so fascinating to me. I never ever stop learning and doing workshops and expanding my brain, never. 32 years I've been doing this and I still love it. It's so amazing. And release. Right leg goes behind. Obviously, if I've been doing this for 32 years, I was three years old when I started, yes? Got it? <laughs> Hold it here nice and still. Drop that hip, lengthen away. Hold it nice and still. And release, change over. Cross that leg, drop that hip. So yes, I did start with Jane Fonda. I did have fluorescent pink headband, matching wristband, matching leg warmers. And I did have that thing that went up your bum. Oh, the leotard over my tights. I still have it. I kept it in my memory box. <laughs> and release. And now bring your heel to the bum. I actually pulled it out the other day for my daughter. She thought it was the coolest thing ever because teenagers right now, they love anything from the eighties. Stay here. And change over, heel to the bum, the knees together, lift the heart. I might surprise you one day and turn up in one of my eighties outfits from my memory box. I have this big t-shirt that says, Simone's Aerobics, fit for fun. That was my company, fit for fun. <laughs> and release. Now I just wanna stretch your calves because of your bouncing. Drop your heel to the floor, bend the front knee, chest up nice and high. That of course was in the UK, where I lived before here. And change over. Left leg back, push that heel down, bend that front knee. But imagine if, I, if you don't do all the science updates and keep your knowledge up to date, we'd still be bouncing on our toes for 35 minutes and rolling our arms around in circles. It's important to stay up to date. And release, big breath up. I thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate your hard work and your energy. Any questions about anything, leave me a message in the chat. Team, as a reminder, the monthly registration does not roll over. So you will need to register for December. It'll open on Friday based on whatever happens today. I'll make adjustments to the schedule. Thank you, thank you everybody. Our virtual programs will definitely continue. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> thank you, Joan. Thank you, Bettina. Glad it was hard. <sighs> yes.
they do still fit my 80s outfits. I'm not sure they will look as good, but <laughs> I can definitely fit them. Just nothing is lifted as the way it used to be. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, Bob. Hi, Pat. Bingo. <laughs> I will see you all maybe on Thursday or I'll see you all next week. Have a wonderful rest of the day.